So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa Hart, this is Lisa Hart Fitness and we are doing week four of our postnatal recovery program. This is the last week that I'll be doing of recovery based workouts and then the following Monday, I'm so excited for this because that will be the start of the next part of our journey in the postnatal period. However, today we are focusing on that week four of that recovery program. So grab your water, grab your space. In five seconds, we're gonna start off with some high knees. In three, two, one. So we're still keeping our high knees at a walking pace at the moment. We're not raising it up to jogging just yet. Turn back to 
that to face the front, we're gonna have our hip circles, but slightly modified. So you're gonna go front, side, back, side. So we're just not quite linking the movements just yet. Okay, 30 seconds rest. The next series is our upper body circuit series with no weights, obviously, because we're still doing our recovery. So we're going to start off with some snow angels, then go into shoulder raises, then we're going to do some rhomboid pulls, lat raises, and then last but not least, our prayer pulls. So we've got three, two, one, snow angels. Remember with the snow angel, we are pulling just behind the head and connecting those back muscles. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. Now we're going to those shoulder raises. So remember, imagine that someone's pushing your shoulders down. We don't want to see those shoulders coming up to our ears. It's going to say elbows, but our ears. Shoulder raises, and off we 
written down the words to say So really squeeze on those sides as you come down To explain how you make me feel inside Don't forget about your breathing So really exhale on the way down And if you can concentrate on that pelvic floor Into our wrong way pulls Touch my hair, it all goes away. So again, add a little squeeze at the end. I would say now I keep rambling on. I sound so cliche. What I am trying to do is say I love you. Ooh, 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 ooh. And all the things that you do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sounds like a focus when you touch my hair. The it goes away. What I am trying to do. Come into our lap raises. How I shiver inside doesn't show, but my nerves are inside out. It's because you're not worth less than perfection. Ooh, thought it was in my pants. Now I'm all confused, turning gold into sand. Don't know what you do to me. I know you. And then into our prayer pulse. kneeling squat to stand in and then last but not least we're going to do some squats with a pulse i'm just going to grab a chair to show you, you know what we do when we do the kneeling squat to stand the things I would say now I keep on. I sound so not very pretty so split squats to start Rest. Whew, 
if you're like me, it's a little bit warm now. So remember, if you want to pick up the intensity, you can. So maybe hold the squat for a little bit longer, go deeper into your squat. You can increase the intensity, but we're really focusing on our form for this workout. So get ready by starting to face the side for our split squats. In three, two, one. And it's so, baby, you got me. So for me, my challenge is not relying on any assistance and going quite deep into the split squat. Switch legs. So wide side to side. So again, added challenge could be that you go deeper into your squat, try and hit that 90 degree angle with your legs, top of your legs to the floor. Because this is such a brand new move, I wouldn't advise trying to pick up the pace too quickly. Maybe you got me. Leaving the magic. Into our split squats with a half raise. So, for added challenge, you could slow down the half raise, give yourself an added burn, switch legs. But I can see that you don't realize, and that's what made me fall in love. Cause you I find that I'm stronger on my left leg um, doing this move, so this one's not as. And good. <laughs> Into your kneeling squat. Remember, as you get more comfortable from doing this move, add in the squat. Down. And back up. Obviously, the chair really gives you added support, but if you try and touch it as little as you need, that can help. Add the challenge. And into our squat pulse. Whew. Again, added challenge for this one is you just hold, slow down for the pulse and up. Feel the burn in those quads. We've done a lot of leg work. Hopefully you've engaged those glutes as well during this workout because you want to be glute dominant as you're pushing back into that hinge movement. And we're just gonna tap it out, start our cool down. And because we've been doing lots of quite strategized moves, so static, not as fluid, as maybe like a cardio workout, we wanna make sure that we're removing lactic acid nice and slowly. So we do quite a nice cool down. So start with some arm, Raises up and down, still keeping that side tap, just a nice slow rhythm. Say it again. Don't ever, ever, ever. Okay, coming in for a tricep stretch. So try and keep everything compact, don't try and extend and bend too much. You don't want to straight, straighten out that core too much. And switch over. Forward. We're going to try a quad stretch now. So, what we're going to do is lightly raise one leg and pull that quad towards your bum. We're not going to do it for as long as we normally would. We're going to tap it down, give ourselves a rest, and then this time we're just going to go half miles. Come back down to the floor. So, we're going to go up. Try and keep everything neutral so we're not tipping, we're not tilting. Touch the floor and then half. Okay, keeping hold of the chair, we're just going to do some hamstring stretches. All of this is really limited to what you might be able to do flexibility wise. Um, but we just 
just want to try and be as safe as possible. done okay thank you so much for joining me on today's workout if you enjoyed this one give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button we've got two more workouts on the recovery program this week on wednesday and on friday so please make sure that you're staying tuned for those workouts if you're still prenatal make sure that you do do those prenatal workouts i hope these workouts are helping you in your postpartum journey getting you ready for those beginner programs that we will be starting next week bye for now